If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Artillery series. In this episode, we are going to get started with Artillery. Artillery is a modern open source performance testing tool for SRE, DevOps and performance engineers. It comes with MPL 2.0 license. You can check it out in GitHub to get started. It is built on top of JavaScript. Here are the core features of Artillery. You define your scenarios in YAML configuration and also you can write your custom logic in JavaScript and also you can leverage the NPM modules. Artillery Pro comes with cloud native features and using Artillery you can test HTTP, WebSocket, Socket.io, Kinesis and more. And also it comes with integrations with CICD and observability tools and we can generate reports in HTML and it has the CLI and it comes with plugins. There are two flavors. One is Artillery CLI which is open source and if you want to use the cloud native features you can leverage the Artillery Pro flavor. To install Artillery you have to install Node.js version 14 or above and it supports Windows, Linux and Mac operating system and you have to just leverage the NPM to install the artillery and after installation you can verify your installation using the dyno sample application or you can just type artillery version which will display the artillery version now it's time for a quick demo how we can install and execute a simple command in artillery so now i am inside my fedora box to verify the npm and node you can just type npm uh, version you will get the version here npm is 8.5.5 and the node as 16.15.0 now to install the artillery you need to use a sudo npm install hyphen g for global and just type artillery at latest so this will install the latest version of artillery okay, now the installation is successful let me clear my screen and let us verify the uh, version using the artillery version command. So now as you see artillery core is 2.0 and artillery pro is 3.0. Now let us try the dyno thing. Artillery uh, dyno and let us enter the message say QA insights and with some rainbow color. So now this will display a beautiful uh, dyno with the message QA insights. That's it guys. In next video we will write a simple load testing and execute it and we can see how you can generate the report in html thank you have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel